Hey everyone, Amy here with Sublimation and More in Hellbound Designs and in this how-to video tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, print and press a, a coffee mug from start to finish using a convection oven. template I'm working with. This template can be purchased off my website. I'll put the link into the description of this YouTube video. Uh, so for this template here, we need to basically replace the default image. So over here on my templates, I kind of make it easy for you to uh, be able to do that. So you just double click where it says double click here to edit image. All right, and that's the image. So here we're going to right click and we're going to want to replace this image. So you do right click, replace contents. And this particular person gave me an image they want to use. So now I'm hitting control and the uh, minus key so that I can downscale my working area here so that I can see the image. Okay, now I'm going to control plus so that I can zoom it up. And they didn't give me a very good image to work with to begin with. So I did have to do some photo editing to try to get it usable. But I think that looks good right there. So I'm going to go ahead and close this smart object. Save yes on changes. And this is basically the template I'm going to use. So um, this is going to be a full bleed template. And what I would do now is... I would go ahead and go file up at the top and then hit uh, print and yeah I know I don't have a printer saved so I'm going to choose one of my printers I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this one now as you can see it centers it in the middle um, I'm going to make it go long ways so that I don't waste as much paper and I don't want to center it to the top might have to go like this. There we go. So I want to print it horizontally and I still don't want to center to the top. Um, so if you want to save paper like with this print, I would want to get it up to as close to the top as possible so that I could use cut this paper and use it for say a phone case insert later. So what I'm going to do is we need to move this whole entire template up. So what I'm going to do is just click on the folder and I'm just going to scroll it up. I click on group and there we go. All right. So that gets it up there. So now we're going to go file print again. <coughs> and as you can see, it puts it up to the top and we could center it if we wanted to, but we don't want to. Or we do I don't think it really matters so basically this is all set and ready for me to print so um, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and videotape the uh, it printing from my printer so let's stand by okay so here are my printer settings I don't think I went over them all thoroughly and just so you know I'm using a Cobra ink system, CIS system, with uh, an Epson Workforce 7110, and I actually have two of those. So now I'm going to go ahead and send it to the print. And here's my printer with my setup. As you can see, It's pretty. Uh, 
Okay, next what you want to do is you're going to want to preheat your convection oven. As you can see, this is a, a convection oven that I got from Walmart for 40 bucks, and it has all the functions that I need. So, okay, so we're going to want to preheat the oven for about five minutes. So I'm just going to do stay on. I have it set to bake and 400 degrees all right now for my person for this particular oven I find that 12 minutes baking time with the preheat is more than perfect for me um, your times will vary depending on your oven and it's just gonna be trial and error for you to figure out I would start with 15 minutes and then if your paper burns your colors look burned then go backwards Okay, next I take a paper cutter and I just trim to the edges. Okay. I love my paper cutter. Gives me nice, even, straight cut lines most of the time, as you can see maybe upside down for you guys there we go okay so next what we're going to do is we want to put on the um, the wrap on the mug okay next what we do is I take a microfiber cloth um, and I use this one quite a bit so that's why it's got a little black on it and I wipe off the mug really good Okay. This is so that you don't get any like random colored spots on your mug after you press it. Okay. After I do that, then I also take my lid tape and I go over it one time as well. Once that's done, then we need our print, and and you're going to need some heat tape. Okay, and we're just going to kind of want to measure it, and you want it to go around your mug evenly. So I'm just going to. And just make sure it's got the even distance of width. Okay. And you want to make sure the paper's even on the top rim all the way around. And then what I like to do is I'll take a piece of this tape right here. Just a piece of tape should work. Okay. So next, you're now that you have your paper on. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to put your mug wrap on. These are the kind of mug wraps I use um, because they can get they they go on really super tight. So I know I get a good full even bleed all the way around. So the next thing we do is just put your mug wrap on. kind of turn this until you can get it to fit and that's not helping me there we go all right so basically what you're wanting it is to you're wanting it to latch on right there if you guys can see okay then I take one of these this ratchet tools right here and this is how I make it nice and snug Turn. 
And before I make it snug, I make sure that my wrap is evenly to the top. Okay. And it's going to take you a few minutes or so to get this nice and snug. You'll know when to stop because it'll get to a point to where you can't really turn anymore. You want to make sure that you don't do it. Overdo it as well because you can crack the mug. And it's getting tight now. You're going to also need this tool to be able to take it back off. Alright, now if you can see, I made a mistake by not making by making sure this doesn't come over the paper. So now I gotta take it back off and readjust, and that's probably because I'm trying to record. So let me fix that real quick. Okay, so now I have it evenly lined up. I just have to tighten it up real quick. So I'm going to first tighten it back up with my fingers to get it started. Okay, so my oven is all warmed up, and now we're going to go ahead and put the mug in the oven and get it to start cooking. And then, it, like I said, I set my timer for 12 minutes. I don't know if you can see. I like to use my phone. So... That way, if I'm, I'm running in the house, I'll know when to come back out here and check the muck, okay? So, we'll go ahead and set a timer. And come back when it's done. Okay, we've got 10 seconds left. You want to make sure you grab your heat gloves because it's going to be extremely hot when you pull it out. Alright, and that's my timer telling me I'm done. Alright, next I usually go ahead and shut off my oven. And now we're going to take the wrap off and see what, what it looks like. Okay, so here what I do is, just to make sure I don't burn myself, I put the uh, mug down on a cloth so that I can move it around. I use my heat glove and a washcloth. Basically, it's time to take it off. So I'm going to use my socket wrench here. And you're just going to keep turning until it comes off. And I can feel the heat already going through my heat glove and the washcloth. So it's very important that you're careful working with these. Alright, so your wrap's off. Put on my other glove. Set your wrap off to the side. Okay, so next what I do is 
I just gently, and it's going to be hot, so be careful. You want to grab that tape. All right, so this is what the bug looks like, and I'm really liking the colors. Next, what you do is they say to cool it off quicker, you can dip it in some warm water. So I do have some warm water here. And we might need to dump some more water out. Basically, you just do this so that you can handle the mug a lot faster and quicker. It's not required. Uh, you can just let it cool down on its own. The mug is going to be fairly still a little warm. I usually just take some, a little bit of cold water and finish it off in the sink. And then I just dry my mug really good and polish it up. Oh my God. So as you can see, the mug get came out really good. And best dad. So that's all it takes to make a mug with a convection oven. So this is Amy with Sublimation and More and Hellbound Designs and this concludes this video tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel www.subandmore.com and if you're not already a group member on our Facebook group just do a search for Sublimation and More. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys learned something.